Jockey Woman Portraits, powered by MTV, season two. What is the color of your heart beating? What is the color of tenderness? What is the color of protest? What is the shape of your gentle body as it learns to heal itself again and again? These are the lines that I draw on my paper. I trace my first kiss. I paint revolutions started by poets and prophets. I make the moon flash silver. I lick your wounds with my brush. I offer flowers at your feet. I inhale winter and I exhale spring. spring. Stars and scars pressed onto paper. I am fearless climbing a ladder into the sky, painting monuments with those at the margins. I look into my canvas and I see myself reflected. Mirror, mirror. I know my canvas, and it knows me. Today is the fourth shoot of Jockey Woman Portraits. We are shooting with a very talented artist, Shiloh, a feminist, a social activist. She travels all across the world and she brings together artists to jam through their colors and through their art. If you ask me why is Shiloh a perfect Jockey Woman? Because she is extremely driven, she is talented, she is passionate, she has a social message to every art that she creates. And I think that's the whole idea of Jockey Woman Portraits. Uh, lights on. Well, there are two different parts of the video. Uh, the first part, we have created a working place of Shiloh, the, basically the studio of Shiloh in a, in a studio. And the second part will be her traveling diary. So for that, we'll be shooting in and around the city with real people, real faces, real location. Shooting with Shiloh was uh, interesting, intriguing and a little bit of challenge as well. At the base of it, we thought that the entire concept had to be very colourful, uh, something which can represent her into her true self. So we have kept the entire surrounding very colourful. With light also we have tried to bring in as much colours, as much patterns as we could and uh, I hope that the entire thing will come out as we expected it to. I feel like I've really allowed to be myself and I've been understood as myself over the day. Um, as you can see from all the rose petals that are left on the floor after the shoot. Um, so yeah, I've had a really wonderful day, thank you. Hi. So, my name is Shailo Shiv Suleiman. Um, I'm an artist, I'm an activist, I'm a storyteller, and I'm a lover. Um, my friends call me Padma Pada, uh, which means the one with the lotus feet. So they say when I step on murky water, lotuses appear. In one word, I think beauty inspires me, beauty saves me. Um, I'm also inspired by mythology, by ritual, by ceremony and by culture. I describe my style of art as being alpha female. It's all in praise of feminine energy. Fearless basically makes space to move from fear to love, um, both inside our bodies, in our private spaces, as well as in public spaces. We make large public art interventions that, um, with different communities of women across the world that have been affected by gender-based violence, and we make these huge monuments in praise of their power. I think being fearless is always a choice. 
and it is choosing love. I always say that fear is a complete misuse of the imagination. The same imagination that we can channel into imagining all the good things that could happen to us, we, we start to anticipate the worst um, and lock ourselves down in spirals. One fearless moment for me, um, I think I'm fearless every time I fall in love. I think as a South Asian woman, uh, one of our curses and blessings is devotion. You know, like we have this Mira level kind of devotion um, to people outside of ourselves. But I think that same devotion when channeled inwards can be really our source of um, strength. I also cherish sisterhood a great deal. Probably a queen in the Malabar. <laughs> Yeah, uh, why? Because it's just so luscious, like I want to be a matriarch. I'd say, um, so my art is split into two. I do a lot of work with art, wonder and technology on one hand, and I do a lot of work with art, gender and um, social justice on the other hand. One of my most exciting tech projects was I worked um, in Burning Man a few years ago in 2014 and I made this huge installation of lotuses that had pulse sensors at the base of it and when you put your hand on the flower it would glow with your heart and that there was something that was just pure magic about that um, so that's one of my favorite art endeavors on that side and on this side um, I think the project that we did in Beirut uh, last December was with a group of queer men there and we made this huge uh, mural of two men holding each other in the streets saying I can hear your silence and it was a really radical um, thing to be making especially in a space like Lebanon and it also really like looked at the intersection between displacement and um, queer love and all kinds of things um, but we went there expecting a lot of pushback but actually we received a lot of love I mean, it's always such an honor to stand hand in hand with other women and um, especially women who are telling their stories. Very often women are silenced and so any platform, especially this one, um, that, that makes portraits of beautiful women uh, is incredible. It's been really good.